All right. So you want to start trading. That's good. That's great. Um, do people still do that? I mean, I guess I guess so, because obviously you want to click on the video if, if not. Huh. Well, um, let's get started. But, but, XD, XD, you're clapping sound smooth. You can't do that. Oh my gosh, really? Huh. Anyway. Ah, all right, just kidding. I'm, I'm, we're, let's actually get to it. All right. This part's all about premium stuff. I assume we already are one. Otherwise, you know, why the hell are you watching this right now? Uh, really can't trade without being a premium account. So uh, do that first if you aren't. Um, it would also be incredibly smart to set up a mobile authenticator because if you have a trade old, uh, you'll probably get cursed out. You know, just just a heads up. I know, I know. I, I can hear you screaming at me right now. All right, how how do I get premium? Okay, all you gotta do. Slap five bucks on Steam, okay? Buy two Manco Supply Crate keys. Make sure you specifically get Manco keys. If you do not, if you do not, this will be you. Hi, my name's Jimmy, and I really like this game. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, dude? I'm like Jimmy, but I'm like 13 this time. Haha, <laughs> I spent five bucks on Steam, baby. And I got these brand new Sandman. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. <gasps> My name's John. Look at all this cool shit I bought with my Manco keys. Mm-hmm. Yup. Nah, I'm just kidding. I fucking stop. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go to the next part. All right. So now they got part one done. Uh, let's move on to the basics of currency and what they mean and why you should care. So you have main currencies and alternative currencies. Main currencies are universally accepted in any trade. Alternative currencies are things that are consistently the same in price and can be bought or resold near the same price every time, which I will get into more in detail in a later video. Now for main currencies, you have scrap metal, reclaimed metal, refined metal, and manco keys. So these currencies each have their own individual values. So one scrap metal equals 0.11, one reclaimed metal equals 0.33, one refined equals one refined, duh. Manco keys are a bit of a tough one, because they always change in value both in money and in refined metal. To check what it's currently sitting at, you can visit backpack.tf, it helps a lot. Now that you hopefully understand the basics about currencies, let's move on to how you get item drops. Okay, so idle servers. Uh, do people still use these? Huh. I mean, kinda. Anyway, uh, these servers actually have a use other than strange farming. I can see you, Paul. Oh. Yeah, there's servers to exploit item drops. Crazy, right? So all you have to do is literally join one of these servers and just AFK. It's quite that simple. Uh, just make sure you actually accept your item drops when you get them, because, uh, if, if you don't, you won't get any more, so, you know. You can only get so many item drops a week, though, but fear not, little Jimmy. Yo, that's crazy, man. I'm so terrified right now. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? The item drop system resets every Thursday, so you can keep repeating this pattern every week. Wow, that's so fucking cool, man. How do I join these servers? Wow, well, great question that I didn't ask you to say at all. Uh, just open the server browser, click the internet tab, then type in the map blank idle underscore and you'll find those servers there. Alright, well now that you have some items, uh, let's teach you what to do with those items. So this next part is all about how to utilize your new item drops. How you utilize them is entirely up to you. There's many different ways and methods to trade up. There's really no right or wrong way to trade up. There's just morally right and morally wrong. Right, Connor? You're worthless. Your items are garbage. Give it to me now. You're fat. Your mama's dumb. I've owned trash cans that looked better than your hat. Give it to me right now for free or else. G I was a scammer. Yo, 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 chill, dude. Loser. Yo, hey, 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 I'm insane. You can use trusted sites like Scrap.tf and Backpack.tf. 
Scrap.tf is an automatic trading site, and Backpack.tf is a price checking, buying, and selling site. A trading method I personally would use a lot when I would start trading out is I would buy and resell rocket jumpers. So I'd buy a rocket jumper for basically half a scrap and then resell it for one scrap to one reclaimed or more sometimes. Just be creative, explore different methods. When you find a method that seems to work with you, then just keep doing it. So uh, this this part's all about patience. Um, I really honestly could have just put this at literally any of the other parts, but uh, I chose not to and make it its own part because I wanted to show how important patience actually is while trading. Also, it makes the video longer. Some things just take a while to sell, so you're, you're usually going to want to try to buy pretty close to buy orders. Uh, otherwise, you risk losing more money than you're actually making. There's a lot of items in this game, so don't really be discouraged if you haven't figured it out yet. Just like with everything else, with time comes experience. Honestly, a really good tip for finding out what's actually popular in this game and what's not is just pay attention to what people are wearing around you in servers. Pay attention to their cosmetic sets. What are they wearing together? You know, it will actually help you know what's better to resell and what's not. When trading, you should always try to have multiple items for sale at once. The more items you have for sale, the more likely one will sell. Trading takes a lot of time. The more you rush, the more you lose profit. One hour later. 75 years later. One eternity later. If you are making profit, that's what matters. How fast does not matter. Okay, well maybe if you're taking like a few months. Okay, trades. Oh fuck, this is the wrong game. I'm so sorry. You can find trade servers by searching trade underscore in the map section, like you did with the idle servers. This is where you're going to meet a lot of other traders. No, not the sweaty snipers. No, please. I'm buying trading cards. No, Hello? not the trading cards. One wreck. It doesn't even work anymore. One wreck. Come on, please. It's not too late to stop. I'm looking for please. some trading cards. Come on, you can do Hello? this. I believe in you. Oh no, not the mic spam. Please, my ears. Please, I don't want to buy new headphones. I just got these. Wait, that's a Q pyro. Wait, no. Please, what is that? What is on your sign? Please, not among us. No, what did Sussy ever do to you? Okay, well, some servers have traders. So now that you actually know how to join trade servers, uh, let's help you out and go through the do's and don'ts of trading. But first, let's help you figure out how to set up trade binds. Alright, let's open your developer console. If you don't already know what that is or how to do it, all you have to do is just open your settings, click advanced settings, then put a check mark by the thing that says enable developer console, and that's it. So let's teach you how to make some trade binds. This is going to be extremely helpful. So whatever you see on screen, you can type that in your developer console. Uh, it's basically just a guideline. Uh, you can change it however you'd like, doesn't matter. All right, you got it. Don't need me to hold your hand anymore. Okay. All right, let's get into the do's and don'ts. First off, uh, do not beg for items, ever. It is a very quick and easy way to get blocked and muted by everyone in the server. 
Um, can I help you? Hmm, you smell like you got a little nice bag back there, hmm? Ooh, you don't need that, right? Sometimes the server you join uh, just isn't right, you know? So it's okay to join a different server if you really need to. Do not be a dumbass and get mad at the person if they do not want to trade with you. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Do your best to always be respectful of other traders around you. Do not use shady techniques to gain profit. This can also destroy your reputation. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Do not say someone's a scammer if you did not have a polite experience with them. This usually does not ruin their reputation, but it's then your own. Some trades don't work out. It happens. Smile and move on. Oh. Do be aware of impersonators. Make sure to background check whoever you're trading. They may not be the same person they're trying to portray themselves to be. I'm real Lauren T. Please check out the backpack link, cause I'm very real. How do I know you're the real Lauren? Just click the link. What the hell are you doing? Uh, um, uh, just recording a video, man. Stop. That's not funny, dude. <laughs> okay. Did you actually watch this whole video? Wow, you really got nothing else better to do, huh? Well, hopefully uh, I helped a little. I know there's probably a lot I missed, but I wanted to get the most basic information out first. If a certain topic needs to be approached in more detail, I will definitely do so in a different video. Uh, but till then, thank you so much for your time. Be safe, be kind, and have fun trading.